right. So I've done a lot of coverage so far. I've still got some more videos just to sort of break down individual things I just wanted to discuss uh, and keep uh, conversations concise to each point. Um, but when I was live streaming it, right, and I don't have like rubbish quality, okay, and it seems like a lot of people, like, so, so in game, so fighting right here, right, a lot of the comments in my stream are like, yeah, this looks average, like the graphics don't look good, and I, I can't, I, so I, how do I put this, like, I agree and I don't, like, in this, in the same way, and, and the reason why I say that is because, uh, and, and believe I've got a video lined up about the gameplay. You're not gonna like that. You're not gonna like it one bit, right? Um, so, the the cinematics, like, okay, so the game is obviously pulled back from it, the absurdity of MK11, right? Everything seems a lot more grounded, a lot more normalized. Whoever's influenced with that was, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, everything from the characters to the stages, like backgrounds, everything looks really good. The in-game cinematics look great. Okay. Um, it looks like the maybe the x-ray quality and stuff and fatalities quality is great. But when you see them fighting, right, and it, maybe it's just like, you know, maybe it's just, you know, thinking different. Um, people didn't seem blown away. Like, I'm blown away. Like, like, the, like these characters look amazing in cinematic, right? Because it doesn't have to do anything. It's not accommodating for, like, fighting and stuff. But when people are looking like the actual characters fighting like this, um, I, not many people were impressed with the graphics. Now, that could be that they have pulled back Right? I was playing MK10 yesterday and while in some respects th like there's lesser detail it to a point it actually felt more Mortal Kombat <clears throat> than MK11 it felt more darker in tone but also like the colors were better and I'm just sort of like wondering if in this instance they pull back on on palette um, and, and just made it sort of a, a little bit more natural, like a natural feel, perhaps. Um, the, the, like it looks great. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kick it out of bed. <laughs> right? It does look good. Um, that's not my main concern, right? And the stages do look amazing. Uh, but like, I'm, I'm just wondering if there is a discrepancy between the cinematic cutscenes and whatnot and storytelling graphics to the um to the actual in-game character models right now the other thing i want to talk about too is that the character models for the cameo fighters are indeed fully rendered right when you put them when you get shots of them side by side like when they're in the same screen um they look no different in quality okay that's what gives it gives me hope i'm gonna have a video about that too but it gives me hope that the you know we may eventually have cameo fighters that are only cameo fighters first up eventually become playable right and i've said this before if they make a fully playable character they've already worked out the cameo side because they're going to have the same move sets right if if you suddenly made kano playable right then like he's going to have um you know he's going to have his role his eye laser his knife throw like that stuff that that is going to be part of his character anyway, right? So it's not a fair stretch that you know, you know they they're going to already have the cameo side set up. But when I first started looking at this, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks really good. It just looks like what we saw in the first reveal. Looks great. Um, and then when it got in game, like even I sort of I kind of noticed like it it almost like the character models dropped slightly. I just I picked up on it. And I think a lot of people did as well. Now, like I said, I'm not going to kick it out a bit, 
right? But, like, yeah, it kind of, it doesn't sort of, I don't know, like the stages look amazing and maybe it's just contrasting with the stages, I don't know. Um, I think it's going to be fine in person, you know, like you're going to have it in front of you and it's going to be fine. Um, because this all, all looks really good in terms of quality, you know, it's not bad at all. Scaled back, which is great, doesn't feel so stupid. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of, I don't know if they've upgraded. To a higher Unreal Engine or not? Does anyone know? What were they? They were on a modified Unreal Engine 3, weren't they? Custom Unreal Engine 3. Um, and if that's the case, have they gone to 4 and 5? I don't know. Or 5. Um, I don't know. Like, like the stages, the stages really impress me. Like 100%. The character designs really impress me very happy they scale back to a much more realistic you know thing um that's why i wondered originally like was john tobias back on the team because you know that's what i always loved about his influences it things felt very grounded in despite it being obviously like you know, you know mythical fantasy world um so i don't know if the in-game models get rendered down slightly or, they, or they're different um there's certainly no difference between the cameos and the main fighters in quality and so that's good that gives me hope but i don't know what do you guys think i mean like i said i saw a lot of comments from people going meh <clears throat> you know and i'm not going to disagree because that was my first thought as well i don't know what i was expecting um maybe i thought they might have been a higher quality tier like that looks great that looks really good I'm not going to lie, that look, that look really good. The ladies are feminine again, so I'm really happy with that. Um, they don't have masculine faces, so, you know, it seems really good. We're going to have a conversation about that Goro, though. Like, seriously, there's some design choices that are coming in, which I just, I've got to talk about it because I'm, I just, I want to know what's going on. Ed Boon, like, you know, did admit um, on stage that you know they've literally changed characters so you know like scorpion and sub-zero are actual brothers which as someone in my live stream comment said how does that work when one was chinese and the other was japanese do you know what i mean and i understand like Liu kang's god he's literally remade everything like everything um which you know makes me wonder whether Liu kang will end up being like a secret boss you know um we certainly don't know anything about story apart from a couple of bits. So anyway, back to the graphics. Like obviously like the fatalities are all like mushy and, and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, so that's fine. I'm just sort of, I'm just curious about what you guys think about the graphics. A lot of people, you know, when you're looking at say the quality of Tekken 8 and then Street Fighter 6, and then you compare this against those, um, where does it stack up graphically? Now, I know it's not all about graphics. I get that. And my main concern, um, sort of my main, it's sort of like, I have two concerns. Now I've seen the gameplay and I'm like, oh, I've got to talk about that. I really got to talk about that. Um, so, you know, but it's in, like, this, this looks really good. Like the quality is really good. And then you see, okay, so this is what I'm saying. Like you see his face here, right? And then as soon as it goes straight to the shot in game, I know it's pulled back. I get that, right? I'm not an idiot, but it does look like they're lower quality. Does that make sense? So I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not. You know, I'm not sort of worried about how it looks. And again, you know, this could be an early build. Uh, obviously, things are going to change. Naturally, I'll be getting the PC version. So that's going to be obviously of higher quality um, than almost anything else out there because you can, they'll have PC only settings. Um, like this looks great. You know, almost lifelike with the two ninjas in the back. 
not not obviously Liu Kang, mm -hmm. right? But the two ninjas in the back do look pretty good. Um, this all looks really good. I'm so curious about all of these setups and stuff. You know, um, so yeah, it's it's interesting to see where this is like. You know, like like what do you guys think about the graphics? Like, how do you feel about it? Um, and whether or not it's you know it bothers you or not it kind of it does feel like it does feel like mk11 slight upgrade or, or maybe not even that they might have simply just used the same engine right just modified some color uh, some color palettes and then uh gone from there you know um so i don't know i don't know but uh let me know what you guys think i'm curious i'm, I'm curious about the general consensus on on this topic so uh, anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. See ya.